Touchscreens are great to display user interfaces that change a lot, and touch interaction is a powerful way to directly manipulate virtual objects on a screen. But when you need to look at something else while using a touchscreen, your fingers quickly drift away from the right spots and you begin making mistakes. That's because you can't feel the on-screen input controls. Fingerflux lets you feel the user interface before you touch it. That way, it can help you before you start hitting the wrong keys. We call this near-surface interaction. Fingerflux uses a table that contains an array of electromagnets. These create a complex magnetic field on and above the table surface that can be controlled dynamically. This technique has been used previously to actuate physical objects or tangibles on a table. However, Fingerflux can provide haptic feedback without the need for tangibles. We exploit the fact that the electromagnetic field reaches well above the table surface. Attach a magnet to your fingertip and you can feel these electromagnetic forces above the table. So what can we do with this? Let's have a look at some examples. Let's say you're trying to hit two on-screen buttons, maybe for starting and stopping a video that you're watching. Without looking at them, you will drift off those buttons quickly. But with a magnet on your fingertip, we can attract your finger to the center of each button. This will keep you from drifting. We can increase this effect by creating a repelling magnetic field around the border of the button, like a ridge. That way, you can feel these virtual buttons before touching the surface. Another example is Snap to Grid, a well-known concept from graphical user interfaces. Fingerflux can bring this technique to interactive tables. Whenever you get near one of the white dots, your finger snaps to it. Our electromagnetic array allows us to change these magnetic effects dynamically. This is essential to support a changing on-screen user interface on a table. Fingerflux can also support constraints inside an on-screen control. Moving along this bar, for example, is easy, but moving away from it beyond its endpoints or up and down is more difficult. Magnetic fields beneath the bar attract your finger, while repelling fields around the bar push your finger back when you cross the bar's boundaries. Unlike most haptic feedback techniques, Fingerflux can create directed feedback. It can pull your finger where you should be going, even when you're not looking. This example shows how your finger could be guided through a maze. By attracting your finger in the right direction, while pushing it away from other directions, the system lets you feel where your finger has to go next. We evaluated finger flux in two user studies. First, we determined at what height users could still feel vibration signals generated by our table rapidly flipping the polarity of the electromagnetic field. All users were able to feel vibration patterns at least up to 35 millimeters, or about 1.5 inches, above the surface. Of course, that's specific to our setup, but it shows that similar systems can create useful haptic output in the volume near a table surface. Our second study tested if finger flex could reduce drifting when operating two virtual controls with closed eyes. Our results show that drifting is significantly reduced when using finger flex. In summary, finger flex is a new technique for haptic near surface feedback. It can provide feedback before you're touching an interactive surface. It can attract or repel your finger vertically, guide it sideways, and transmit signals through vibration. The concept extends to multiple fingertips, making Fingerflux a promising candidate for a new class of haptic feedback on multi-touch surfaces.